it's Mary. Oh, here it's on again. Okay, it's Mary Ellen and Casey, and Casey logged us in today. Got this whole thing started. Well, I'm. She's going to sit here while I um, just talk about a few things. Yesterday, she gave a little story about Cape Cod, and a kickoff that happened to her at Cape Cod. And I'm going to play a little game with her later about the icons. But first, um, she talked about Cape Cod and the kickoff that happened. And the kickoff was what that we talked about yesterday. So the kickoff. Yeah, but yesterday, before you do this, yesterday, what was the kickoff? What happened at Cape Cod that we didn't expect? A tornado. And then, as we talked about it afterwards... And a lot of people had told us how much they liked Casey's voice. I, um, I was talking to her, and she said she remembered a second kickoff that happened at Cape Cod. And that was a kickoff that only was a kickoff for Casey. It was only a kickoff for Casey. It wasn't a kickoff for everybody else. So I thought that she could tell both of the kickoffs, and how great would that be? So the first kickoff I'd like her to talk about. Now she's going to, she loves to use her story grammar marker. This and mine. this is hers. And you hold it like this. You put hers. your finger through. That's so you can Nana. hold. This is Nana's. And this, this is mine. Is I have the teacher name. one and she has the student one. And if you just hold it so we can see it. And you're holding your little. My little. Your little pom pom. Yep. It right in so your hand. Soft. Mm -hmm. It How feels good. It feel? Same way because they're pom-poms and that represents the That's characters. That's just bigger. So would, you, so would you use your story grammar marker to talk about what so happened at Cape Cod? What and I, the, the way you hold it, it would be like this and then it's just like Nana's. So, so now, where happened, were you? So I was at Cape Cod in the house. In the house, and before we start that, you know how you can talk about a setting using the points of the star? Could you tell me about five things that you see at Cape Cod or do at Cape Cod usually? Beach. You go, yep, you go to the beach. Swim what else? Swim in the ocean. Swim in the ocean. Um, swim at a pool. You could swim at a pool if we had a pool, but last year we didn't have a pool. So, swim at the ocean. Yeah. Oh, and a pond. Remember when we had two? Well, yes, when we had the, when you went to the pond. Yes. Mhm. Mm uh, Do you ever go out to eat? We went out to eat. We go out to eat, and, and sometimes we watch the sun set. The sun set. Well, we usually do that in Hawaii. Oh yes, sometimes when we are in Hawaii doing professional development, Casey has been with us, so we watch the sunset. Um, so anyway, that that's about there. the setting at the usual Cape Cod. But what was the kickoff that happened okay. that you talked about yesterday? So yesterday, the kickoff was the tornado. But... Mm -hmm. And how did you feel about I the was, tornado? Well, we were scared. Mm -hmm. uh, Can you tell us a little about what the tornado looked like? Well... Because it changed the setting. It wasn't the usual... We were really... touched down near us. It kind of took down like a little far away, but kind of near. Yeah. So it was very windy. Um, I know some time, some big trees fell down. Yes, right near um, us. Right near us. Um, some I, chairs when I was in the there, yard I looked, blew away. I looked there. I could only look through the little telescope uh -huh. that we had. And um, I saw that there was a bird trying to fly, but then it was dragging them the other way. Yes, it was so windy. Yeah, it was oh my goodness, windy. and the rain. Oh yeah, the rain. Yes, so wind cold. and rain. We couldn't even see anything unless we looked through the telescope. Exactly. So, so you felt upset. Upset, but the kickoff that we thought today. Oh yes, but finish that. So, so you were then, saying that. Uh, there was a plan when Jerry, when Jerry, Jerry, your cousin, my 
older cousin. Yep, older. Not my, and then he... Your your cousin Jerry well, got together. Well, I think he was on um, a thing before. He made a plan. He was on this before. Yeah. He was. He, he made, made a, a plan, plan for everybody to be calm, calm and safe. safe. So, and actually, he made me and Sammy feel better by saying um, the adults wouldn't be standing by the windows if they were scared. The what? The adults wouldn't be standing by the windows. Oh, the adults. Yes, <laughs> we were debating what to do what and Jared the adults said. wouldn't be standing where they were if they were really scared and so then my kick off we already talked about the yes kick off. so anyway jerry did all those great things of gathering then all the food and I you felt safe felt. yeah i felt safe now tell the other kickoff so well this is this a is different me. time and then well we don't really have this exciting you were at the cape we're at the cape at Not a motel yet. we're still at only a at a, at a, no, it was at a house. We were at a house when this happened. Okay. All at right. a house, because we never get hotel for Cape Cod. I don't mm -hmm. think they do. All right, and a house. You were there without <laughs> Nana. Nana wasn't there that no. time. No, no. Wait, no. you, you were, no, Nana wasn't there. No, she came, I, she came at the, she came for the next house. I came for the next day, and you went a little bit ahead of time. Yeah, we went. We went to Cove. Yeah, we went You to were Cove. outside. And then I was running back in, and I hit myself, and I don't really want to hear it. Yes, she doesn't really want to think about it, but she I fell and hit her self. herself and her, her head, and you were sad. I was crying. You were crying. There's you were blood. very upset. Blood. Yes. Blood. It, so. Yes. An ambulance came. So the plan, what was the plan uh, the before plan, the ambulance came? Well, the plan was to actually, we called the ambulance. Right? And why did we call the ambulance? Because you. I can get better. So you could so, get better, that was your plan. So first. So first. The, you called the ambulance. So yeah. Next. Then. Or then. Then. Here. And we put a towel on my thing. Mm-hmm. Who did that for you? Lauren. Lauren did that. Lauren's been on this before. Lauren when was she's with like you. Six. And Lauren was on TV, uh, right. the video with Nana. Yes. When so, she said, also known as Mary Ellen. Yes. So then you, you went to the Cape Cod Hospital. Hospital. And, and I the got doctor, it, what did the doctor do? He put stitches. He put stitches. In my head. In your head, and as a result, result. that's the bow. That's as a good. result, how did it turn out? Pretty good. I, I, it just felt like little dots. But yes. Declan, yes, he had a really other story. Well, Declan will have to come on and talk yeah. about his De fall too. Do you yeah. want to get close okay. to the camera to show so, them your scar? Anyway, she had a little bit of a scar, really barely she, even a scar. Anymore. Barely even it, showed. It, it's still a. You can still see the yes. scar, and but she feels yeah. very relieved. So yeah, Declan's, you can still really. Well, see he it. just had it happen. Yeah, he okay. had it. Declan it's, is her cousin. It's right here. It's yes. right on top. It's literally going into his eye. We'll eye. have Declan tell yeah, the we'll story. Have Declan. All right. So I wanted you to set these up according to the story grammar marker. Could you do that? What goes first at the top? Characters. Now there could be more than one character, mm -hmm. but we just have two for now. Yeah. And what about this? The next one. This is the setting. Mm-hmm. And after it's a whole hum day in the setting until the kickoff happens. The kickoff happens, and the kickoff doesn't have to be something bad. It could be something Except great. Except the things on here don't look the same. They're as a little bit different. They're a little yeah. bit different. There's like, a button for each one on the little marker. Okay, so that's the kickoff. And how about the next one? And the heart. The heart. Mm -hmm. Is this the heart? What does the heart tell you? The heart. How the character. How the character feels. How the character feels. Then we have then, this. What's this? Oh, the plan. And this is you can favorite. have it right I here. Love you love the plan. I know it's your favorite. You love the plan. So put it here. 
The plan. I put it special in the middle. Yes, the plan is the character thinks about what he or she wants to do, and then now, these are. These are the little. The beads, the the, beads, the actions that the character the action does. Beads. So one. Yeah. First. Well, except my the action beads on here match the little one with the mm -hmm. blue. Yes. And then the big one has wood. And I was going to say, Casey especially likes blue, and, and we have all the markers, the little markers in different colors because actions that people will take will be different. So. I, my favorite color is purple, red, green, and pink. Mm -hmm. And how about blue? And blue. All right. Now, and what's at the end here, to tie everything together? Vivo. The tie up, it's how things turned out. What the cat does the character get what he wanted? Yep. And then, then what's the, at the end? The bow, and then here's this. Some more what? Hearts. To see how the character feels. How did you feel after you got left the hospital at Cape Cod? I actually felt pretty happy. But when my cousins told me that my it, it was coming off, I was like, oh my god. Yes, then I was like, what's going that on? That was a little mini kickoff. All right, I'm going to ask you to play a game with me now. Close your eyes tight, and I'm going to take out one of the story grammar marker icons. And then do Don't I look. have to open my You eyes? have to tell me what's missing. Okay. Which one is missing do that I, I took out? To I'll take out two because, no, don't look. <laughs> I'll take out two of them. Okay, open your eyes. Here's your marker. Um, tell me which ones are missing now. The plan. The plan and the setting. The plan and the setting. Very good. The setting is where and when they, uh, and what's usually going on. And the plan is, is to stop, stop and think. 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 Make a plan and, and practice it. Tell yourself the okay. plan. Okay. So okay. now I'm doing it again. So I'm just going to keep this so I can or I'll point to this if I don't know what the name is. All right. All right. This I'll take. Um, the children love this, to do this, to talk about it. So I'm going to take now three things off. No. Oh, boy. No. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. That looks like you only took one. Oh, right. The characters are there. The setting. What's missing here? Wait. Kick off. The kick off. The heart, the heart. Yep. And the um, hearts at the end. The hearts at the end. Those are called the reflection. We have to think the resolution. Reflection. We think about how everything was, and we sit back and we think. Reflection. How do we feel? Okay, so go ahead. Now Put take that out on. four. All right. Now take out four. Okay. okay. Now take out four. All right, I'll take out four, and then we'll, I'm going to get to the second part of my workshop here, my little mini lesson. Okay. I'll take out four. All right, close your eyes. Mm. What should I take out? What is, it, what is she picking? Tell me. All right, turn around. Fluffy. You're fluffy. Oh, oh, what's, oh. what's missing? Oh, one, two, three, four. One's missing here. A bead is missing. A bead. That means one of the action beads, what the character yes. does. You stole one. A door. They could be oh, called a door. How dare you take one. <laughs> here. Oh, wait, they yeah. go with the actions. actions. Oh, That's the attempts that the character makes. Okay. Now, what else is missing? Compare your marker with that. The kickoff again. The kickoff again. Is missing. And, oh, oopsies. Is it right here? Yep. The two characters. The two characters. And the um, bow. The bow, the consequence, or the tie up, we call it too, because it ties up the story. The end of the story, it's the direct consequence. Oh, now I take out five. Very good. Now listen, I'm going to, you can do one for Nana. Just take out one. I'll take and then out I'm five. Gonna, I know, but we're going to have to go. Okay. Um, um, because we just take see. off one for Nana. Okay. All right, I'll close my eyes. Tell me when you take that one out. 
and then I'll tell you how what I was thinking about it. I should say to everybody that there is a handout about this today. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Oh my goodness! What did you take off? Let's see. Oh, this is my marker. I'm going to think about it now. Oh, the character isn't there. Okay. And what what is the character? What is the character anyway? The characters are like who are there. So like if it was who me and there? my cousin Sammy. Would be who are there. Okay. And then, um, well, I know there are five beads on this, but if I need more, I can just push them up and use them again. And many times I only use one or two of them to first, next, finally. So it depends. I think because there are five that are usually there, you must have taken off two of them. Two actions. And I think she took off the resolution at the end, the reflection, how we sit back and we feel about how do we feel about the way things turned out. I want to see if I can get one. All right. Let's let's stop now. Can I want to thank you. Can you can. Them. I'm going to give the rest of the yeah, workshop, no, though, no. of the mini workshop. Will you? You can do that, okay. and then I'm going to just I finish. Take them okay, off. but but don't do that now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I I think we could go on for quite a while with this, with different stories that we could pick. Oh, remember the characters in the Dr. Seuss book. The thing. Yeah, the things, thing one and two. Wh which symbol would they be? Which icon? The characters. The characters. Which ones are missing? I don't know which ones are missing because okay. they're all gone. They are all gone. Okay, now, now I, Nana just I wanted to present important. one other thing that I need you to be quiet for. Okay. I wanted to just mention Paul Revere's ride, and you have a handout for that as well. Um, tomorrow is the 18th of April. And on um, April 19th, we celebrate Patriot's Day. Paul Revere's ride occurred the night before Patriot's, what is Patriot's Day, um, as he went to warn... I'm the Patriots. Oh, yes, the Patriots fan <laughs> yes, of, the foot, of the football game, football team. All right, but anyway, mm -hmm. um, so Paul Revere's ride... Occurring in, um, occurred in Boston, the Old North Church, which is one of the stops on the Freedom Trail, was where there were two lanterns hung, one if by land and two if by sea, which was really the Charles River at the time. So I just wanted to read uh, the first verse of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, and it's a holiday in Massachusetts and in Maine. And in Massachusetts, we have the Boston Marathon that usually occurs on Patriot's Day, as well as um, a home game of the Boston Red Sox. But neither of them is occurring this year at this time. So i just like to read the first uh, verse, and you have a lesson plan for the entire poem. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be, ready to ride and spread the alarm to every Middlesex village and farm for the country folk to be up and to arm. I wanted to mention that this is the um, illustration when Paul Revere actually sees the two lanterns. Um, 
And then the last verse is, So through the night rode Paul Revere, and so through the night went his cry of alarm to every Middlesex village and farm. A cry of defiance and not of fear, a voice in the darkness, a knock at the door, a word that shall echo forevermore. For born on the night wind of the past, through all our history to the last, in the hour of darkness or peril or need, the people will waken and listen to hear the hurrying hoofbeats of that steed and the midnight message of Paul Revere. And I think we and the citizens of the world have risen uh, to pay attention to the alarm and are um, doing what we need to do at this time of crisis. So I'm going to um, stop now, but you have a lesson plan on that famous poem. And I thank you for listening to me and Casey. Oh, she has organized her um, icons. And what our goal is, is to and have... I'm back. And she's back. And to have children have knowledge of this and be able to call it up when it's necessary. Can you say bye? Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Stay well. Have a good weekend and stay well. Okay, great.